Good morning, everybody. My eyes are really puffy today. Apparently putting tea bags on that is supposed to help, but uh, I don't have any tea bags at the moment. So I've got a few minutes to kill before I have to go to work. And so I just thought I'd spend it here talking to you. Um, oh, look at that. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> My face is really puffy today. Okay. Anyway. So I started reading this book for uh, Garbagus because I thought it was perfect. And it actually was absolutely perfect for Garbagus, but I just didn't finish it in time. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> Oh, what a silly book. Okay. The book, the movie came out in 1978. And it, I mean, obviously it was considered a really bad movie at the time. But it was deliberately bad. It was a B movie and worse. And it was about a, literally, <laughs> tomatoes gain some kind of sentience. And they turn around and start attacking and eating people. Um, and then they start getting bigger and they start attacking and eating more people. And then they, um, and the people try to fight back, but there are just far too many tomatoes in the world and they overwhelm them and kill off the population. Now, I thought I saw the movie way back when, but I don't remember anything about it. So I think maybe I just saw a promo or two and just thought it was stupid and never watched it. So I, uh, sorry, I'm also trying to figure out what this dibbit is over my eye. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Um, so I don't think I ever did see the movie. I do remember seeing the promos. I see somebody swimming slowly and kicking and there's like tomatoes floating behind them. And, uh, the typical 70s, you know, voiceover, um, I mean, it looks very, very, very 70s. Uh, there's some movie stills at the end of the uh, novelization, too, and they're they're pretty silly. So, fast forward to 2023, and in April, uh, Jeff Strand released this book, and you can tell he just <laughs> he just went to town. He had so much fun writing it. He's had a ton of fun promoting it. And uh, so I purchased it back in April, um, partly just because, you know, Jeff Strand and it looks pretty funny and I've reviewed a couple of his books here before, but also um, I don't think at the time I was really thinking about Garbagas, but I thought it would be perfect. But of course, being so far behind on everything, didn't finish it in time for Garbagas. So here we are. I guess I've been rambling for a while too. I'm sorry. Um, the premise is, yes, very silly. A uh, bunch of tomatoes start attacking human beings. And the human beings have to figure out how to fight back. And each scene is very... I mean, the book... I, I, the book doesn't take itself seriously at all. It's a really fun read. It's it's really, really funny. It's a lot of in-jokes and self-reflexive commentary and um, the author going, hey, you know, it's the author I'm writing here. This is the book you read. Do you remember that part in the movie when... Um, and then there's like little conversations with the editor and and then he just starts going over the top and describing all these ridiculous battle scenes because he's like, yeah, they didn't have the budget for this in the movie, but in a book we can talk more about it. Um, so, so again, it starts small, you know, it just starts with somebody being attacked in their kitchen and then um, there start being more attacks around the country and they start to figure out, oh no, there's something going on. And then there's a politician by the name of Mason Dixon who's nominally the guy in charge maybe and there's a journalist by the name of Lois who has to who has to try and follow these guys around and get the story and uh Mason is <laughs> one of the guys that's kind of helping him out is this paratrooper who 
always has a parachute attached to him for some reason. I don't know. It it gets really silly. Um, what I was... What I was reminded of as I was reading was movies like uh, Doctor Strangelove, where you take very serious situations and the the things that they say and do are just ridiculous in response even if they're they're just you know gr like they're delivered with the most grave sort of feeling behind them um i can't remember who it was who was it george c scott who was who played the president in dr strange love i don't know it was somebody like that it was one of those really you know um, weighty kind of grave actors and he delivered every line as if it was a serious drama and that was what made it all the funnier right so you have a lot of uh, people in grave situations delivering ridiculous lines and they just make it funnier and then and then they say really really silly stuff like <laughs> you know stuff about what they're eating and stuff about what they're um what they're gonna do and nobody can figure out what to do like it just goes on and on and I'm probably describing it badly but it's a hard kind of thing to discuss I mean if you if, if you talked about the airplane movies and that, that was another thing that it reminded me of um just the sort of self-references and the silly comedy and the slapstick and um you know it kind of had that that quality to it too um, just the way that the, the book was written and the, the way that the dialogue goes back and forth and, uh, uh, the callbacks and, and the very deliberate, you know, fourth wall breaking. Yes, this is a book. This is a book about a movie that came out in 1978 and a lot of things were very different in 1978. Um, it's, if you like cult movies, um, and you want a good laugh and there is some actually there's some really fun action scenes to it too some good gore because <laughs> there's a lot of you know stomping tomatoes and <laughs> even one of the early scenes they're like the tomatoes went right down his insides and it was all liquid and i just think about how gross that was and ew it must have been horrible <laughs> oh you know just the uh author commentary all the way through is pretty fun so I'm explaining it very badly but I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five stars really fun read uh, it's only about 230 pages so if you just want something fun um, something that kind of makes you roll your eyes every now and again the movie didn't take itself seriously the book doesn't take itself seriously and uh, you know hats off to Jeff Strand for taking on such a project because I'm sure a novelization of what's you know long been considered a cult classic uh, couldn't have been easy but uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes the novelization by Jeff Strand which is available in of course all formats hope you're reading lots of horror I gotta go to work have a great day